Today is a solemn day in the life of the Church, a day like no other, as we celebrate the Passion of Jesus. This is not the anniversary of Jesus as we would celebrate for those who have died. We celebrate that Jesus, out of love for us and out of obedience to his Father, suffered for us and died on the cross for each one of us. We have the benefit of hindsight, knowing that Jesus rose from the dead. However, for the followers of Jesus and for his disciples, there was no happy ending to this story. Their hope of a Messiah was now a shattered dream. The man who healed the sick, who performed many miracles, who raised Lazarus from the dead, couldn't save himself. He suffered the death of a common thief. So often we see the symbol of the cross as a symbol of sorrow and sadness. But in Jesus, the cross is a symbol of victory and also a sign of hope. This following reflection captures the mood and the meaning of this day. It is the cross you forget, that rugged wood, that makes Good Friday eternally good. What is so good about the death of an innocent man who died long before our own lives began? This man who on earth once trod was not only man, but the Son of God. That wood, that tree, that old rugged cross was a symbol of gain and a symbol of loss. To those who believe it is the promise of gain, the hope that, like Jesus, we will rise again. But for sceptic and doubter, the meaning is loss, an eternal gulf which no one can cross. Good Friday is good because of the death of Jesus the Saviour, who gave his last breath. So you, friend and I, could be cleared of our guilt, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb that was spilt. And so we pray. Father, help us to believe in the midst of doubt and uncertainty. Help us to hope in the midst of despair, suffering and death. Help us to love in the midst of hate, selfishness and rejection. Be with us in our sufferings. May we who have followed your painful journey to Calvary witness to you by lives of prayer, love and service. Amen.